Tempers flare at an Atlanta City Hall meeting in a discussion about the future use of the downtown jail. One council member referred to Mayor Keisha Lance Bonham's stance on the jail as, quote, having panties in a bunch. Now that dramatic characterization amounted to a complaint by Councilman Michael Bond, who believes the mayor has been inflexible and will not allow the Fulton Sheriff to place overflow inmates downtown. Now Fox Eyes Morse Diggs has more, including a sharp response from the mayor's camp. In my piece, you're going to hear some intense language, but in the end, one city council member told all the players to focus on what is needed to allow the judges and the sheriff to do their jobs, to lock up the people who need to be behind bars. The jammed Fulton County Jail, an overflowing population with 300 inmates nightly on the floor in plastic containers like a doggy bed you might purchase for your animal. These people on the floor. You know, this is, a, this is an embarrassment. Councilman Michael Bond, who at one time was a city jailer, and Mayor Bottoms are at odds over her decision not to allow Sheriff Patrick Labatt to have use of 500 of the near empty 1,300 bed downtown facility for overflow. And that disagreement is becoming even sharper in tone. We don't need to not act because somebody got their panties in a bunch. And get mad that somebody's trying to quote unquote take their jail. It is the worst administration effort I've ever seen in Atlanta. Amaro Age shot back at Bond, calling his remarks misogynistic. The mayor, Michael Smith said, has been willing to negotiate. So look at it on both sides. So that's all I'm saying, Mr. Bond. There are some issues over there with Fulton County also. I see this is just some politics and some crazy stuff. On one hand, I can't tell you it's an emergent situation, and on the other hand, do nothing about it. I am the sheriff of the largest county in the state of Georgia. I am going to start having conversations with both the governor and Cobb County. It is still our problem with police bringing people over there who are nonviolent offenders. They're not taking them. Or if they take them, they're only there for a few hours. These are people that are right back out on the street, breaking into our cars, breaking into our houses. People feel violated. Sheriff Labatt told the city council members he's not asking the mayor for a five-year solution. Make it temporary if necessary, but give him those 500 beds. From downtown Atlanta, I'm Morris Diggs, Fox 5 News.